Good evening. Hello. Hi, and welcome to this week's Fibrific Live Craft and Chat, where we craft and chat live. Uh, you guys have been hammering the comments this morning. It is so, so good to see everybody in here nice and early. So good morning to all. I think the first comment that I have is actually a members chat from Vampyr saying good morning everyone. So good morning Vampyr, good morning to everybody who has jumped in live. Today I'm feeling a little tender. I had an exercise physiology appointment yesterday and while I have different hurdy things, I think these ones are going to clear up faster than last week's. Uh, thank you, Sally. I have gone the nice bright shirt color today. It was actually purely a comfort decision. This is one of my softest, gentlest shirts and it's my shoulders and my, you know, neck that are all a bit like we hate you today. So I've gone with these soft clothes. It's also uh, the, the, the quads and what's the other one? The hamstrings, the quads, and the hammies. They all hate me. Everything hates me. So I'll be moving very gingerly today. Now I need to get a little bit of housekeeping out of the way. Today here at Fiberific HQ, the internet's going down. Yay! Sometime between 8 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. for 390 minutes. So we are streaming today on my alter, on my on on my alternate internet source. So fingers crossed it has enough juice to get us through. If I drop out, if I disappear, um, bear with. I'll try and get back in and we'll see how we are going. Um, so it is not the elbow pits. It was never the armpits, Sally. It was the elbow pits. Last week was the elbow pits. Um, not today. Anyway, so uh, I, yeah, I am unsure the stream is working. Yeah. Yeah, so actually I can see it's working. I've got some stuff running in the background. I can see it's going. Um, so if I do disappear, if I do drop out, please bear with. I will get back as fast as I can. Luckily, I am using StreamYard, which is my favorite live streaming software. It will keep the stream open. It'll just be a blank screen, though. Like it'll just be, um, let me see. Can I see what it will look like without me in it? that that's what it'll look like without me there so as long as you can still see that the stream's still going but um i'll be back as soon as i can okay so if you see that don't panic let everybody else know as you come in now fingers crossed it'll be like normal and you'll you guys will be like i don't know what she was worrying about like everything was fine um but we'll see we'll see so um <laughs> yeah thank you freaky Thank you. Everything is a bit tender today um, and probably worse tomorrow. So, yay. I I had like, I was like, right, I was going to do this one thing for the live stream and then the thing I needed never showed up. So I planned this whole other thing. And then the thing I wanted showed up this morning. So who wants me to open my bag from Maker that arrived like 40 minutes ago? <laughs> All I've had time to do is peel my address label off it. So it is nice and safe and ready for camera. Or we could just drop into some crochet, like if you'd prefer that. Um, so it is, it's, uh, it's definitely, um, uh, it's definitely, I've got some options. Like you've got choices. I'm not going to make you watch me open the bag in saying that. Do you know how hard it was to not open the bag? Like, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so, oh, Katie's in the chat. So, hey, Kate. Kate's here. So, Maker is in the house. Uh, silly question. We all does. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. Grab your hands, open it. Open, open. I mean, like, this was me this morning when it arrived. I was just like, oh, my God, oh, my God. I'm like, no. All I can say is probably best it arrived this morning and not like yesterday or a day before or something when I had more like more time to stare at the bag, like going, I wonder how everything looks. Um, Katie says, I've been stalking your tracking because it was taking so long. I've been stalking my tracking um, because all, all I could see on the tracking from my end up until yesterday, I think it was, it was just like it had been picked up from, from you. And I'm like, Oh my God, I need more than that. I need more than that. Um, how exciting. We need to see what you got. Um, absolutely here. Um, I, I'm actually going to pin this comment um, if I can. 
pin it. There we go. I'm going to pin Sally's comment with my link to Maker. Now, this is my affiliate link, so I will get a commission if you decide you want some of this um, at no additional cost to you, okay? So you're going to get my live um, opinions on how it feels. So, you know, you guys know I don't hold back. I don't hold back. Um, yeah, it was clearly meant for the live. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, they were very slack with the updates. I agree with you. I agree with you. Squish, squish, squish. Okay. Um, Nitspin Girl says, my internet keeps dropping out because we had a bit of rain in the morning and I'm in Lismore, so nothing works after a bit of rain. I feel you. I feel you, Nitspin Girls. Um, crinkle all the paper and plastic open, please. All right. I, I, and on that note, it's a very small bag. I just, I just need to say this. It's a very small bag. I just realized I have to lift it. <laughs> it's going to hurt. All right. Hi. Hi, everybody. Oh, look, there's a sneaky peek. Um, th there's, there's, there's some yarn in this bag. Here we go. It's a big bag and it's a big composter pack, which I love. I love. Okay. Um, I did get scissors. They're over there. Yeah. Okay, so I couldn't restrain myself, all right? Jeebus, all the gravy hands. Yeah, look, the problem was I'm like, oh, man, I've got these projects I want to do and I was going to order from International and then I was like, I don't need to order from International. I could get them from someone local. I'm going to do that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I think, I think the majority of the crinkling has happened, all right? So... You know, um, now, now I did order, I, I believe I ordered off the top of my head, all of the colors of Dirty DK, all of the colors of Aaron and Eve and some sample colors of the blend and the cotton. Um, <laughs> I'd hate to see your idea of a big bag. <laughs> I was like, I knew I'd ordered a lot, right? But when the courier arrived and he was struggling to drag it up the driveway, it kind of cracked me up. <laughs> Small bag, she says. It takes two hands to lift. Look, it probably wouldn't have taken two hands to lift if I hadn't have had a gym day yesterday. Okay? All right? All right, let's have a look. So first things first, we have – oh, it matches my shirt nearly. Oh, we have some Dirty DK. Oh my gosh. That's so soft. Oh wow. Okay. I think I found my new favorite acrylic. We're going to have to work something up with it. It's got nice twist on it too. I'm going to drop us down to this overhead camera just so there we go. So you can see the twist in here. Can you see the twist? I don't know if you can. It might. It's it's set for a different focal point. All right. It's not going to work. It's set for a different focal point. Let me go over here. You can look there. Come on, camera. There we go. See the twist in that? That is some good twist. That's going to hold some nice projects and still be soft. Oh. Is some of it coming along tonight? Uh, that's actually an excellent point, Bianca. So I'm just going to pause the debagging. Um, tonight, is, today is the first Thursday of the month in Australia and it is uh, it is Caffeinated Crafters Night. So if you are local-ish to Brisbane area, uh, you can meet us up at the Brown, uh, no, at the Coffee Club at the Hyperdome. And, um, and I will. I will definitely be bringing... Um, I'll definitely be bringing not all the colors. Okay. Cause this bag, this bag is, this bag is huge. Okay. But I will bring a, a couple of colors of each of the bases for everyone to have a squish. So, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, it's going to have fantastic stitch definition. I reckon it's not going to be fluffy. Huh? I like, all right. So that one is um okay I don't know the color names off the top of my head but it's an orange it's a great orange okay 
Then we have, oh, that's a solid red. I see a knot, but that's okay in a 200 gram ball. I can live with that. That is a nice red. That's a good red. The camera's making it orange red. It's not orange red. It's it's beautiful. It's if anyone has bought my Wanda before, it's very similar to Wanda. It's a good red. I'll bring some of everything. I'm just pulling it out of the bag in the order that it's in the bag. Then we've got this beautiful, beautiful aqua which I just love so much. Such a gorgeous colour. I probably got too much light on in here because I did not plan for the debugging. Let me see if I can just, there we go. I'll kill that one. We'll see if that makes a difference. Oh, that's a gorgeous pink. Oh, there we go. That is a bit better. That's a gorgeous pink. It's like, a, it's nearly like a, oh, I want to say it's a soft salmon, but edging towards the pink. So, yeah, so it is, that is, and that's a lot, I'm like, oh, what can I make with that? My table is not big enough. I have an enormous desk, I want to point out, and it's not going to be big enough for this. Now we have this gorgeous, bright, saffrony yellow, orangey tone color. This is, oh, everything's so soft. Yeah, Katie, look, you know what? Joints happen. And it's just part of the milling process. And we just have to accept it. Wow. These colors are so bright and wonderful. And these are 200 gram pink, uh, 200 gram balls. So these are fantastic value. These are only $8.50 for 200 grams of high quality acrylic. Seriously. Man. Okay. I, I need more space. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Here's a hot pink. Hello, hot pink. You are very vibrant. You are very vibrant. And then there has to be a purple. Hello, purple. That is a beautiful purple. Cameron not coping with the gloriousness of this purple. It is a delicious purple. Man, that is so good. Okay. Now, because I was buying for particular projects, I bought a couple of the whites so that I could have for joining and a border. And you, you guys know the drill. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to move. Does anyone, anyone want to see any of the dirty DK again? Because I'm going to have to move it somewhere else because it's taking up half of my table. It's too much. The Angora. So the white is called Angora. And then we've got duckling, flamingo, amphibian, and anemone. But I don't know which order they're in. So, like, there's all these colors. I'm like, Louis, don't even look at this deliciously tempting pile of yarn. He's on the floor over here staring. Like, why would you put that down there, Mum? Because I have no choice. Louis. There's no choices for me right now. Okay. Oh, bring the purple tonight. Okay. Lisby, are you coming to caffeinated? That would be awesome. Okay. All righty. Um, next in the bag, we have the, oh, my gosh, the, the Aaron and Eve. It feels, it makes the other one feel coarse, but it's so soft. It's like a little pillow. Oh, it's so soft. I love that it's already in little balls. It'll be easy to use. Oh, wow. Gosh. And again, is it 200 gram balls? 200 grams, 250 meters, 100% acrylic. It is so, oh, the squish in parfait. The parfait is making me drool. Yep, parfait. This is it. This is how we got on. I was trying to work out how we got onto the Shrek quotes. It was Parfait that did it. It was Parfait. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next color is this gorgeous one here. Wow. They are all so soft. I was trying to like know, see if there's any difference because you guys know how with when you're dyeing even acrylics, even the exact same basis, sometimes the colors have a slightly different feel. 
Um, I have noticed that one of them did have a slightly different feel, but I don't, I can't remember which color it was. I think it might've been the green one, but in saying that it still felt amazing. It was just slightly different. Um, and I would say this one feels different to this one, but I, I would say it's because they've been, they're different. I mean, have they been wound differently? I don't know. Anyway, next color. Oh, this is a good green. Oh my gosh, this is a good green. Wow. Yeah, I know, Dolores. I know. This is just gorgeous. Ah. Oh. See now I'm like, oh, apple pie. That makes so much sense. Ah. Oh. I am so close to finishing Abby's blanket. I've started the border like barely, but it started. And um it is, oh my gosh, this, the white is blowing out. I'm sorry, the white's totally blowing out. Look, there you go. The white's over there in the shadows. Um, but it's a gorgeous, crisp, bright white. And then we've got, oh, such a sunshiny yellow. Um, the white is pavlova. Again, excellent choice. Uh, what are my ideas of? I'm going to make a blanket, Megan, with this. I'm totally going to make a blanket. Um, I just, it's going to make the squishiest, soft, softest, amazing blanket that I can think of. And it's going to come up so fast because Aaron, which is, um, which is like, it's thicker than this is thicker than worsted so this is 200 grams 250 meters so that's that's uh what is that in american everybody so that's about seven ounces and 300 ish meters a uh, 300 ish yards somebody's gonna have to do the math on that one that's off the top of my head and my mathing skills you know they're not awesome it's the perfect blanket yarn. Oh, it's absolutely, it's absolutely. It is like cuddling a cloud. <gasps> oh, gosh. I think Abby's going to steal this color off me. She's just going to be like, you have to make me something with this color. This is Abby's aesthetic. I could be wrong because sometimes it's this. Sometimes it's like a bluer version of this and sometimes it's a greener version of this. But it's this tone. So, oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. Okay, but this is big and I'm then running out of room again. And then we've got a gorgeous soft pink. That is lovely. That is so nice. Again, and I don't like pink. You guys know. I'm not a big fan of pink, but I've been learning that pink as a contrasty color to other colors makes the other colors stand out better. I'm dealing with it, okay? Now, I think there should be one more, yeah, because, again, I, I bought the white as the contrast colour or as the main colour, I should say, for borders and for joining. So I got two of those. I like a natural colour or, uh, sorry, not a, a neutral colour is the word I'm looking for. Personally, I prefer a grey, but there's there's not greys to be had yet. So as we help make her make money, buy all her yarn, she's going to increase the colour range. She made promises. There were promises. Um, now we're on to a blend moment. What's a blend moment got in it? It is 45% cotton, 55% acrylic, a hundred meters, sorry, a hundred grams to 190 meters. Wow. And again, great twist. That is good stuff I like a good twist this is going to have fantastic stitch definition which also means it's going to wear well okay it's also going to wear well um because when things and I got I got the purple and the dark gray this dark gray I well I think it's black that looks very black um I got these two colors to test it out I only got the two colors in the in a, in a blend moment um because I wanted to have a test and a play and I couldn't afford to buy all of the colors and all of the things is really what it boiled down to. And then we've got the, oh, wow. Yeah, I know why Claire was drilling over this cotton. Okay. Now this is, it's a thin cotton. 
What what are we saying it is? It's an eight ply. Uh, yeah, it, look, it's thicker than Bendigo. It's thicker than I think it's because I've been touching worsted weights. Um, so oh did oh okay. So obsidian is definitely black. Okay. Um, and the weight of it is eight ply. So for this one, the blend moment, it's eight ply. Um, or DK, 45% cotton, 55% acrylic. So that one's definitely DK. And you're saying it's definitely black. I may have just, um, was I, do, do you have something that's in a grade that I was maybe looking at getting confused by? I don't know. But there we go. I don't care. They're still going to look fantastic together. Um, and this is the clearest cotton. So this is 100% cotton. It's an eight ply, 100 grams, 235 meters. Um, that's going to be lovely. Again, just so soft. So soft. I can't wait. No wonder Claire like dropped everything and started working with it the other day. Honestly. Oh no, there's no gray. Okay. I'm just blind. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, it was probably wishful thinking. I'm like, oh, please let there be a gray. Oh, there's a gray. Um, yes. Wow. Okay. Cornflower and Lily for the cottons. These are lovely. So these are hundred gram balls of cotton. Um, Hand wash only, dry cleanable, do not bleach, do not iron, do not tumble dry, dry in the flat. My question, what happens if I tumble dry it? <laughs> I'm going to test it. I'm going to see what happens. Bendigo Cotton also says not to tumble dry, um, and I still tumble dry it, honestly, So because the blankets don't go on the line because they're too heavy when they're wet. I can't lift them that high. Um... And I've got nowhere flat big enough to dry a blanket, honestly. Who does? Who who in the chat here has somewhere flat that's large enough to dry a blanket? Just out of curiosity. Man, I am so chuffed. And I'm just like, oh, I want to start a thing. I'm not going to start a thing. Um, Katie says that they're just the manufacturer's instructions. I still put it in the washing machine. I'm not sure about the dryer. Yeah. Like, I mean, like I put I put all my, my knitting and crochet in the washing machine, but um, I'll, I'll throw it onto like a, either a gentle cycle or a wool cycle or something like that. I won't expect it to survive a full, you know, beating. Um, but, yeah, these are, these are lovely. Oh, my gosh. Doubled up over the bath on a rack. What size blankets are you making? I couldn't fit a blanket doubled up over the bath on a rack. Um, Katie says technically cotton is heat proof, so I don't see why you couldn't. Yep. I Look, I do throw my acrylic into my dryer, but my dryer has a cool dry setting. Um, so I um, I have that option. I know not everybody does. Um, but, yeah, so I will use a cool dry setting rather than um, – uh, uh, rather than you know going hard with the heat because that it's not awesome acrylic and heat not friends um claire's missed everything claire's gonna have to scrub back and rewatch. sorry claire you miss out uh, christina says the air dryer outside um my air dryer is not big enough to take a blanket okay oh um, maybe maybe i'm thinking about this differently than you guys because i'm when i hang stuff out i don't want it pulling and draping and dragging and stretching out of shape I want it totally all supported so when I put things on the clothesline I actually don't hang it over the line I hang it across all of as many of the little strings as I can um so that's what what I do with that um because if it's like if I just hang it over like I would a normal you know whatever blanket it's going to stretch out of shape and that does my head in I can't deal with that so it might be a me thing it could totally be a me thing um Dolores says I do have space in the house if I move the dining table to one side of the room but I generally choose a warm day and lay it on the lawn on top of an old clean blanket I could Oh, I could do that as long as I keep the pets inside because Tibbles is just, here's the cat. He's like, oh, you're blocking something, are you? I shall help with that. And Louie's like, ha, 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 there is a thing and I will run all over it. Aren't I adorable? Um, so Leanne says, I've purchased two rectangle tables and put them together. I now have a huge space for drying blankets. It's a, 
I've got big plastic tables. I wonder if I could do that. I have to see if I've got a spot big enough to put two together that's in the shade. Hmm. You may have something. Anyway, I'm going to put these back in the bag. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is what I say to this. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to keep a selection to take to Caffeinated Crafters at the top of the bag because it's a really big bag. I bought a lot of yarn, you guys, okay? I know. I'm not feeling judged by you, but I've somehow got to keep this in my workroom, this big giant bag of amazingness, along with every single colour of Dirty DK, which are on the floor here, which I'll put in the bag. Oops, <laughs> the chair slid out from under me. Come back, Joe. Okay. okay, I'm back. Francis says my Bendigo water just arrived. That is awesome, Francis. What did you water? Uh, I just want to say having to stand like that to fill the bag hurt me. It caused me pain because my legs were like, we're not squatting again, are we? Please, please tell me we're not squatting again. Okay. So my question, what did you guys think of all that yarn? Because it was really good value, I have to say. Such good value. Um, I, I, I bought my yarn, so um, I, was, I was like, okay, I'll put that in the basket, take that out of the basket, put that in the basket, take that. And um, eventually I just went, you know what, I'm buying all the Dirty DK, I'm buying all the Aran, um, and I'll just get samples of all the other colours. Um, so, yeah, I was just like, oh, okay. But I was like, I don't want to buy samples. I want to buy all of them. But I had to pull my head in because my credit card said no. Deb, thank you. Thank you. This is one of my new T-shirts. It's very soft. It's protecting all my sore bits. Um, our Francis's Bendigo order is three balls of four ply cotton in parchment, the warp for my tea towel project. And you already have your weft, I'm assuming. Um, excellent. Oh, and if the bank plays nice, you shall have to place an order. Oh my gosh, my fingers are crossed that everything works out. Honestly, I know how hard it is to, to do what you guys are stepping into here. And my fingers are firmly crossed. Absolutely. Um, so I will bring a selection of the bag with me to Bendigo, uh, to, to caffeinated crafters tonight. I will not bring the whole lot. So if you've got a particular color you want to see, DM me and whichever ones get the most requests I'll bring. Otherwise I'll just choose. Okay. Absolutely. Um, Megan says, absolutely love it. Great value for a top shelf yarn. My new go-to. Uh, yeah, I'm like looking at it like, okay. Now, for me, the only downside so far in saying this, I have not worked a single stitch in the yarn yet. But so far, the only downside for me is the limited range of colors, which I know is changing. So as time goes on slowly, as, as the business builds and, you know, what have you, you'll slowly be able to add a few more colors here and there. So, um, and I know that that, you know, that that's just how it's got to be. And I totally understand it. And I think that's the only drawback for me in saying that that's a really solid range of colors. So there's definitely some pretties in there. I'm very keen. I'm so keen. Um, now, I've still got ends to weave in on my thing. So I'm going to grab that in a second. Um, now, I have pinned Sal's message, okay? And what that message is about, that is my maker link. And that link is um, so that if you want to support uh, me as such, uh, you can hit that link and put your orders through there and I will receive a, a commission for, for the orders at no additional cost to you. Um, but either way, whoever, you know, however you buy it, whether you Google it and find it, um, and it's maker.store.com, um, buy the yarn, 
okay? If you need acrylic for a project or cotton for a project or a cotton blend for a project, go and check it out. She's an Australian small business. So here in Australia, we don't get many options of Australian businesses doing this sort of thing. So if you don't want wool, if you want cotton, if you want acrylic, go and have a look because they are so damn squishy, I have to say. So, so squishy. Um, Biff Sheba is in the chat. Hello, Wendy. How are you going? It's good to see you here. Leanne's reminding everybody to hit that thumbs up for the live chat. Um, uh, yep, the live chat. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah, and Katie, Katie has an excellent point here. I am working on having every single color you can think of, but I need everyone to buy what I have first. Absolutely, because if we don't buy it, she's not going to have the money to get the extra colors. It's that simple. It is that simple. Um, so, you know, d d we support from the start. We don't wait until everything's awesome. That's what we do here. B. Shiva says, I thought I'd watch your weaving ends. Well, you know what? You're just in time for that because I'm, I'm bringing it in. I've got my little, my little stuffs here, my little things, stuff and things. I think I've been watching the video from my brother again. Stuff and things. I have been working on the border. Like you can see that I've done this. This, this bit. It's not even all the way to the end yet. But we can weave in these ends because this is the last of the ends except for the border yarns. Now, I will leave that border one undone just in case something happens. Um, and then, you know, I have to pull it out. I don't want to have to pull out an end I've woven in because I don't know about you guys, but I weave in ends like a, like a crazy person. Um, so uh, let's have a look here. Woohoo, just in time. Um, look, I, I don't know what Katie's opinion on this is, but mine is sometimes the stress of pre-orders is stress I don't need, honestly. Um, having to worry about and lengths of time and things like that and having other people's money in your account until you can do something, stressful. Um, I would recommend that we just buy some colours, plan some projects using those colours, and then when the new colours come in, buy those too. That's what I would say. That's that's my opinion. I don't know what Katie's opinion is. Oh, nope, there we go. There, uh, Yeah, and that's, that's the big catch, isn't it? Are we prepared to wait a couple of months? And then do you get enough people pre-ordering a colour to make it, you know, viable lots of lots of big questions there what did i do with the scissors other than i had the scissors i know i had the scissors because i used them to open the yarn bag now i am gonna just move this guy up here i i look i know you guys might think i'm a bit weird but i forget which is the front side so if i just have a little stitch marker that just reminds me like hey i'm the front i'm legit the front Um, oh, Ruth, if you go to the Attic 24 website, it's on the front page right now. So unless one of the girls want to grab a link for the pattern, it's a free pattern. It has been such a joy to work on. And if I can just keep going in the next two days, I will be finished in my time frame. Oh, please hold, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> Sally's sorting you out. Go, Sally. Um, Katie says, from the time I place an order to the time it arrives is about 40 days. I mean, that's not terrible. I've waited a long time for stuff when it wasn't when it was supposed to be in stock. <laughs> like, oh, that was in stock. I've still had to wait three months for it. All right. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it is totally up to you. Uh, there we go. Attic 24. This is the spring frost cowl that I'm working on here. I have loved it. Now, in saying this, it is, when I do a cowl, I kind of expect some variation. I expect it to be a bit, you know, different, a bit of interest in it. But in saying that, I think this is exactly what I needed. 
you know, like just a project I could just chill into and not even think about. So, um, yeah, that, that's that's about it for me. Um, Megan says, let me just say that my order from Katie came within two days of ordering. Very impressed with the time and the packaging. Oh, look, you know what? My order was delayed, but it wasn't Katie that delayed it. Katie had it packed and shipped and out the door. It was it was her it was her curry company that let her down. Um, but you know, I still had it in. Like I ordered last Wednesday, it was shipped. It was shipped by Friday, right? Like a couple of days, I think that's right. Um, which is awesome, I would say. And then, um, and then the courier company had it all that time and courier companies are butt faces as we all know here at Fiberific. Um, and the, the company that delivered on my end, they're notorious around here. So, yeah. Um, yeah, make a good point, Freaky. You live across the road. Yeah. I know, right? That was like so awesome. That is awesome. In saying that, I ordered I order my milk online, right? Like I, I get special like almond milk and I order it online. And I ordered it and within like half an hour I had received a notification that it had been packed and that it was, you know, waiting for the courier company to pick it up. I'm like, yeah, cool. 20 minutes later I had an email saying the courier company had it. It was delivered. I ordered on I ordered on Mon Monday morning, I think, Monday morning or Tuesday, Tuesday, Monday morning. It was Monday morning and I had it in my hands Wednesday and it came from interstate. So I was just like, what is going on? And it was the, it was the Notorious Company. It was the, like, it was the, the mob that I'm just like, oh, really? What they do, like the thing I don't like about them is they tend to destroy my parcels over the fence. And, and I've watched them from the window. Like, they don't give me enough time to get to the gate. And I've just watched my parcel just fly. They don't lean over and put it down because my, my, my front gates are only waist high. They, don't, they, they like, shwink. So I'd, like, try not to order anything from them. In saying that my milk delivery is really heavy, I'd like to see her try and throw it. Um, uh, all orders are shipped within 48 hours. Just depends on how busy I am. But if you're in Melbourne, it's usually delivered within two days from shipping. That is awesome. That's so cool. I love that. Um, I'll drop that off. Uh, <laughs> butt faces. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a 12-year-old boy in, in like an old lady body. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, we just – it's. Once it's out of like the seller's hands and you've got to wait on your delivery companies, like Abby and her, did I tell you guys the story of Abby's, um, Abby's ticket to see Harry Styles? I may not have because all this kind of happened this week. So Abby had bought, I'm going to tell you anyway, so you guys can just, you know, story time, pull up a chair, grab a drink. Um, so Abby had bought a ticket to see Harry Styles in the pre-order back in April last year, right? So she had a ticket. Well, she's found out a friend of hers, his cousin or something or other, someone she knows interstate, couldn't make it to the Gold Coast show for whatever reasons and was selling her VIP ticket for $250. Now, those VIP tickets, when they came on sale, they were over $400. Abby decided on her own without checking with anybody a week before the concert that she was going to have that VIP ticket. So she bought it and sold her ticket, right? The concert's Tuesday. The lady who she sold it express posted it. So we had full tracking, but it had hit Brisbane and it had been bouncing between delivery centres and the airport for three days. Abby's starting to freak out. I'm starting to freak out. Sally agreed. I'm glad it wasn't a fake ticket because there was always the risk 
because it wasn't actually someone we knew. It was a friend of a friend. And you know how that goes sometimes. Um, and Abby's freaking out Monday morning. She's like, what do we do? Can we not just go and pick it up from where it's at? And I'm like, we can't. If it's delivery centers, don't allow you to pick it up. But I'll ring and I'll find out what's going on. So I had to wait until 8 a.m. when they, you know, get sorted. So she's already at work. And I end up on the phone with probably one of the most amazing Australia Post um, telephone operators I've ever had to deal with in my experience of dealing with Australia Post. Kind, calm, and helpful. So what had happened is that morning, like maybe half an hour before the call, the parcel had been flagged and pulled out of the automated system because it had been bouncing around so much. And it was currently sitting in a place where we could go and pick it up. It wasn't a a distribution centre. It was a delivery centre. And the delivery centres allow for pickups. And he was just like, how far away is this delivery centre from you? And I was like, "Uh, it's about an hour away. And he's like, oh, no, we can get it closer to you. And I'm like, you know what? I'm happy to drive an hour to go and get that if it means we've got it and I don't have a stressed out teenager on my hands anymore and he is laughing. So he he made arrangements for them to put it aside and keep it out of the delivery window. Uh, and um, and we got there, um, I cut, Abby finished work at 10 and we jumped in the car and we were there and back home again before midday and she had her Harry Styles ticket. So the advantage of her getting it the day before is the Harry Styles merch stores open the day before if you've got your ticket. So she grabbed her little ticket, jumped in her little car and drove down to where the concert was and picked up all her merch so she didn't have to spend all her time at the merch stands waiting the next day because she had to wait in a different line to pick up the free VIP merch that she got with her VIP ticket. So that was such like stress and overwhelming and just, it was, yeah. And the problem, because I kept saying to Abby, look, if it's bouncing around like this, it's been misaddressed somehow. And she's like, I've checked with her and she's told me that she's definitely sent it to our address and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, nah, Abs, for it to bounce like this, the, the envelopes are either damaged, which means your ticket could fall out, or it's an addressing issue. And I said, I'm really hoping for an addressing issue. Well, it turned out she transposed the postcodes, which it was why it was bouncing around that area rather than our area. So Abby had a ticket. She went to Harry Styles. She had an absolute blast. It's going to be one of those memorable for the rest of her life concerts, I think. So she is one happy camper and she's still happy today she's off to tape and she's in one of her harry she bought herself two harry styles t-shirts she did some serious merch research so there was this i don't know where it was but there was someone who was testing all the merch and they were like okay the sweatshirts that these sweatshirts cost like 120 dollars um they pill after about four hours of wear and, Ab- and I just said, Abs, it's Queensland. She goes, yeah, I don't think I want a sweatshirt now because she was so keen on one of these sweatshirts. And so she ended up buying two T-shirts instead. So she gets double the double the wear time. And so it's like Queensland. Seriously, do we need sweatshirts in Queensland? Like other than like a Tuesday in July? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's have a look. Um Alison likes listening to Harry Styles music. Hey, I don't, I don't turn it off if it's on. Um, it's fine. It's from a friend of a friend of a friend's cousin. Yeah, it was so like, I'm like, oh my God, what have you done? You've sold your ticket that you've been looking forward to for the last nearly 12 months. And you don't even have the other ticket in your hand. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was, I was freaking, I was freaking out. Um, yeah totally freaking out but so glad that it all worked out just came up roses which is fantastic 
yesterday I had one of those days where it's like, okay, I, it was a focus on me day, right? Because I had, um, I had a deep tissue massage in the morning followed by a chiropractor appointment. Um, and then yesterday afternoon I had my exercise physiologist appointment and they're all like, should you really do all these on the same day? And I, I was just like, um, I don't know if it was the best plan. It kind of just worked out that way. Um, but, you know, it's not going to happen that way again. So it's only going to happen this way once. And then the chiropractor was like, oh, the exercise physiologist, he was like, you know what? All of these different things, except for the chiro, but the massage and the, and the exercise, they all cause me pain. At least you get all your pain out of the way in like one or two days. You won't have to be like, oh, massage pain is horrible. Oh, exercise physiology pain is horrible. It'll all be on one day. So I'm like, I like that. Hopefully it's just one day because I can tell you my neck and shoulders are so very sore. I can't, I can't tell you what my legs are feeling like right now because I'm sitting, so they're quite happy. But the second I try to stand up, like, like you think about a squat, right? It's the action of sitting down and pushing up and sitting without actually, you know, resting in between. So when you're pushing up out of a chair, my legs are going, no, 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 no. We're not doing this again. No, we're done. We're done. Like you did great yesterday. You're fantastic. You're a superwoman. But we're done. So, because I did my first um, weighted squats yesterday. So I had a barbell with weight on it. Well, actually, uh, this particular, it was the barbell because it weighed 20 kilos. So we just went with the empty barbell. Um, but I did three sets of 15 squats with that thing on. And I am proud of myself. My legs hate me, but they'll get over it until next time then they can hate me again. Um, B. Sheba said, hang on, where is it? I sent two parcels to Queensland on the same day the other week, scanned through down in Melbourne within 10 minutes of each other, ended up on different trucks to Brisbane, and one of the trucks burnt to a crisp while still in Victoria. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. I did a dodgy deal of a friend of, of a person on Twitter in a car park to get my tickets to the final Powderfinger concert. They were printouts. I thought I was ripped off until I got through the gate. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I mean, I like this idea. I don't have a bath big enough for me. We've just got a little bath. Um. That is crazy. I mean, all I can say is lucky they weren't both on the crispy truck. Like, geez. That's just, yeah. Because I, I would like, I, I like um, ice treatment. Like from because I can't take a lot of medications. There's a lot of things I can't have, so I can't take any inflammatory. So I use a lot of ice packs, like a lot, like a lot. Okay, like a lot. And um, my GP, who is awesome, um, and has suggested I maybe try ice baths. But to get the most out of ice baths, you need to do them fairly regularly, and. I don't have a bathtub big enough, even just for a cold water routine rather than ice. Um, so I, I'm just like, what do I do in these instances? Um, uh, I don't agree with the idea that massage should be painful. I love a good deep tissue massage, but pain is not an option. Uh, we are fixing um, issues. I have, there's problems and we are working through them. The pain will be gone by tomorrow. Um, with the massage it's just normally like I feel I f things are moved is basically what happens I've got a lot of um, muscles doing jobs they shouldn't be doing and between all of my different medical peoples we have a plan and they're all working together which I am loving because how often can you get that range of people working together it's like never happened but they're all in agreement so I'm like woohoo that makes life easy um and we are, we are trying to train dumb muscles, especially the ones in my legs, 
to stop doing the wrong jobs and trying to get the other muscles now that they're functioning properly again to work. Um, Cause I had, I've had some issues. So we are, we have a plan. We are working on the plan. I am okay to keep working on this plan because I'm actually seeing really good improvement. Today is a sore day, right? And um, tomorrow, hopefully will be a less of a sore day based on the amount of pain I got today. It's not going to be like last week. Last week was just crazy people talk. Um, but um, last week was just exercise physiology as well. It wasn't even, it wasn't even any of the other stuff. Oh, I've got my yarn caught around my little doobie thing. Get out of the way. Thank you. Um, but yeah, if I'm having like just a, a relaxation massage or even a standard deep tissue that's not having to, you know, deal with things like that, like I've got muscles that basically lock and hold their position for weeks on end without medication and that's not awesome. Um, how did you go with the turmeric? Look, the turmeric did work. Um, and I probably should keep taking it, but I just, I'm really not a fan of taking tablets because I get so sick when I have tablets. Usually this one's not making me sick, which is great, but my brain's like, are you going to start getting sick though? Because tablets make you sick. Basically there's an ingredient that they use to make a lot of the different actual tablets. And I react to that. It's not actually, usually, usually, it's not actually what the tablet's for that's the problem. It's the actual tablet. So I can't take any histamines in the tablet form, but I can take them as a nasal spray form. So, um, yeah, it's a bit crazy. My body's just stupid. And just is, It's on its own path. It's doing whatever it wants to do. What have I done there? I did something hinky there. Let me just... Can I fix that? Yes, but I'll have to re-put it on the thingy doover again. Yeah, my body does its own thing. And and surgeons and doctors are like, what the frick is your body doing? I'm like, I don't know. It's like whatever it wants. It does its own thing. And then they laugh and then they realize actually how bad that is. Like, oh, oh, oh. Um, so last one because we're leaving we're leaving the palmer end in out out because that's the end for the border and i'm going to continue working on this border on camera because i read the instructions and i'm sorry you cannot copyright protect um single crochet border so yeah i'm going to continue working that on camera <laughs> But I also have here ready for its border, which I have permission to work on camera, is the mug rug. It's all ready for its border. I did its little bloop thing. So um, Ruth says I put turmeric in my rice. It makes it so nice. Yeah, I'm taking um, three 15,000 microgram turmeric tablets a day. I think it's a bit more than the turmeric in rice. But I love turmeric in food, honestly, which is why we knew I wasn't going to, well, why we hoped I wasn't going to react to the tablets. Because I don't react to turmeric. I love turmeric. Because turmeric is delicious. I don't know. Everybody can have it. Um, okay. There we go. Oh, come on, scissors. Do you, do you need to be retired? Like, seriously, what was that? Okay. That was the final end of the size. We're still going to border ends. We're still going to border ends. Um, little pile of ends. <sighs> um, you can get a turmeric drink. Yeah, you can get like turmeric lattes and stuff like that as well. Um, all sorts of things like that. I, I've tried the turmeric latte. It was not my favorite. Um, yay for the ends being done. Oh, we need to celebrate sprinkles. Um, let me see if I can find the celebrate sprinkles. They're here somewhere. Celebrate. Um, how about that one? Hype sprinkles. Hype sprinkles. Do it again. Do it again. I want more hype sprinkles. 
Replay. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Why are you there? Go away. I don't want that one. I want this one. There we go. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I need to get some tunes on this channel. Like, I find a tune that I can use without copyright for our, for our parties, for our celebration parties. Broop, I have it again. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Abby sending photos. I think she forgets I'm live streaming. Yay. Woo. Oh. oh, I pressed pause. That's what I did. I'm like, why did it stop there? Because I pressed pause. Okay. Now, we are working this very, very tricky border that I've already pulled out once because I realized I did something dumb. Get back up there, yarn. Okay. The dumb thing that I did was I didn't follow the pattern instructions and went on my own merry way and this bit wasn't right, which was lucky I stopped to pull it out because Abby also decided, oh, you know how I was happy with it being a bit shorter? I'm like, yes. Is it too late to ask for it to be longer? So I was just like, Ugh. so last week I thought I was getting to do a throw rug. And then this week I had to, which color did we start from? I can't remember, but I had to add in like, you know, like at least, at least that many new colors. So I've done in extra rows as well as other things. Um, Bob Karen in the chat. I had to do washing out near the solar batteries and the Wi-Fi didn't like it. Oh, no. Um, you could do a recording of caffeinated. I can't even talk. Caffeinated crafters celebrating as a soundbite for it. I could, absolutely, because then it's ours. I have to take vitamin D supplements because I'm deficient and my doctor put me on. Oh, yeah, I'm on vitamin D as well, but my doctor says it's because I don't go outside. <laughs> And he's concerned for my bone density as I get older. Like, if you don't go outside, you can't get vitamin D. And it doesn't work being inside on the other side of a glass window because you need the UV to interact with the cholesterol in your system, like the good cholesterol in your system to create the vitamin. Anyway. Um, uh, Thanks not to YouTube for editing my response. What was, did, what, did I miss something? Yeah, for ends done. I don't know. What did YouTube change it to? Megan says, I have so, ends. I have so many to weave in in my baby bobble blanket that I change colors every two rows. That's what this was, every two rows. So because it was a cowl, like, because I don't know if you were here from the start, Megan. This was a cowl that started like eight weeks ago. Um. I would do the colors throughout the week and then weave in the ends on the live stream. So I would do a little portion of ends, like dub, basically double what we did today um, for the live stream. So it, it kind of, cause I, I didn't, I couldn't get permission. Well, I couldn't get a response from the designer to get permission to work on this during the live stream. So um, I would really like for her to reply to me, but you know, she's not. Um, Sal says, I'm on vitamin D too because I don't go outside either. Yeah. Um, Lizby says, I, I'm a redhead. Sun is bad. Yeah, yeah. Like Vishiva said, vitamin D controls nearly everything. So much more to worry about before the bone density. Lol. Yeah. Yeah. It's very important, especially if we stay inside and we don't get enough direct sun on our faces or on our bodies. Um, to make sure that we are getting our proper vitamin D, everybody. Not that I'm a doctor. Talk to your doctors. Find out if you need something. And then if you do, do what the doctor says. Don't do what I do and just ignore things until I can't move. Do what the doctor says straight away. Um, Leanne says, I think I still have a recording of the laughing at retreat. We could use speaking of retreat. Any further news? Um, no, there's no further news so far. We still have a couple of spots left for retreat for this year. Um, but other than that, it's all systems a go. Um, yeah, Angela says that she's on medication that makes me more susceptible to sunburns. I'm just me. I'm just like I go outside I'm and I'm, I can't use sunscreen. So, well, many some. Oh, man, it's still tangled up here. Not many sunscreens anyway. I have to decide between the chemical burn or the sunburn. They're my choices. 
Um, the chemical burn's only a lightish chemical burn. I mean, it's still not awesome. It's a chemical burn. But if if my choices are like a severe sunburn, like if I know I'm going to be in the sun for hours and hours and hours, I'll put sunscreen on. But if I know I'm just going out into the sun for a brief amount of time, like half an hour to an hour, I will not. I would, the sunburn I would get for that is less than the chemical burn. Um, oh, Megan, I normally weave in as I go, but I haven't this time. What a deal I am. Do you know what? It's It's just what it is you know one day kick back on the couch pull the blanket up onto your lap throw on your favorite show have your weaving scissors and needles and everything handy and just go hard you'll get there it's it's not the funnest thing when you've got to do 11 billion ends at once um and i look i'm going to be really honest usually i am a leave the ends till the end person um but I've been really enjoying my last few projects and it's literally the queen where you didn't, you didn't weave in the ends other than um, the ones throughout the middle, like where I ran out of yarn rather than change colour. Um, and now this one, and also I'm also working on the Attic 24 fireside blanket and I, the granny squares have got different colours every some rows is every row and then others it's every second row, depending on the size of the square. And I didn't want to leave all of those to the end. So before I get to highlight that I finish that square, I weave in the ends on the square. So I'm not weaving them quite as I finish the yarn weaving the end. I finish the square, then weave in all the ends. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I hope the signal that everything's working okay. I am on hotspot of my mobile phone today uh, because the internet is due to go down and unfortunately I don't get the option of just working like it'd be really nice if your computer could like have your hotspot connected but then realize the internet's down and just instantly change over to your hotspot without a, missing a beat but no it has to disconnect everything first and then and then do it so um I always look at uh, I always look at the baby sunscreens. Yeah, I have to look at the um, the the sensitive sunscreens. So and there's only a couple of companies that do them, and one of the companies puts all these smelly things in it, which is dumb. Um, Molly says weaving in ends sucks. It's like purling. Um, lol. But just one of those things we have to bear. I mean, I mean, I I don't mind purling. Purling is fine. I think I'm now motivated to sit and sort them out. Now what to watch while I'm doing it? Well, if you do it right now, you could continue to watch this live stream for another hour while you weave your ends in. If you want, I'm not going to force you, but you're here. So you could you could do that. You, I, would, I would let it. What, what do you guys reckon? Do you guys in the chat reckon that now is a good time while the live stream is on? Because then you can tell us when you finish bits and we can cheer for you because that's what we do. We cheer. Um, but, yeah, I don't mind purling, Molly. I don't know what it is. I, maybe I'm a freak. I could legit be a freak about that. That's totally fine. Bamfi says, I can't use stuff for sensitive skin. Sets off my allergies. Yeah, some of them set off my allergies too. So, yeah, no time like the present. Freaky's here for the cheering as well. Yeah. I mean, I will be honest, there are many a things that I would have given up on if it wasn't for this community. Like that queen, it was so hard to get through. And it was because I didn't want to let you guys down that I finished it. So it it works. Having a cheer squad behind you totally works. And don't forget to also throw it into the, the fun zone, how you're going as well, so we can cheer for you over there. So we have the Fibrific Fun Zone on Facebook. Um, it's our it's our sort of group hangout for outside of the live streams. There's a goodly bunch of you over there. Come on, seriously, get out of the way. Um, and we can have fun. A good idea, not sure two hours is long enough. It's probably not, but it'll get you started. 
Um, often starting to weave the ends in is hard. I agree with you, Zoloris, because sometimes just making the decision to sit down and do something is the hardest. Um, but actually just doing it is not. So, yeah. I have been having, my brain has been going over time over on my, for my other live streaming YouTube channel and I haven't been making content over there and I haven't been live streaming over there. And I put out a video two weeks ago, I think it was, or a week ago. I think it's two weeks ago. And it's just reminded me like why I do what I do over there. So I'm planning to start live streaming over there again, probably different than having guests all the time because having to rely on other people was really stressing me out. Okay. Now we're at the corner and I've just got to quickly look at the instructions. Okay. One, two, and then three. Okay. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Um, A stupid corner. Let me in. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Oh, I see what the problem was. The problem was I was grabbing the wrong bits. Get out of the way. You're the wrong bits. I don't want you. I want that. That. That's still still painful. I mean, it's three, right? I did it. It's whatever. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do because I'm going to go over it again. Um, uh, don't forget to bob now and then while you were. Oh, very funny. Wanting to <laughs> join squares is so much harder than actually joining squares. Yes. Ends work the same. Totally. I'm sitting here warping up, um, warping up on my warping board with it just sitting across the arms of my lounge chair, slow going, but at least I'm comfy. Absolutely. Um, Fibre Fix Fun Zone link. Hello. That is not the Fibre Fix Fun Zone link. I think that's the Fibre Fix page rather than the Fun Zone. But that's okay. You can find the Fun Zone from the page too. Um, I'm okay with purling now, but I've had to force learn to like doing them. They are part of the process. Yeah, purling. Pearling is one of those things where I do have to be in the mood for it, honestly. So, yeah. Um, hang on a second. I've just got, to, maybe I didn't do it right. Let me just bear, bear with. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm a donkey. That's okay. I totally didn't didn't do what I was supposed to do. It's fine. It's totally fine. Okay. And that also makes sense as to why it looked wrong. And now I'm good. I think that's right now. Yes. Um, hang on, hang on. I just got to get this right. Okay. All righty. I, I, I didn't read it properly and it's not three DCs per per um, per row. It's three per colour. So, you know, it's all good. Okay. 
Okay. Um, there we go. There's a fun zone link. Yay. Um, uh, I don't mind purling for me. Sometimes it's faster than knitting. Look, I actually, I, I can knit to the left and to the right. So it looks like I'm purling. Um, it was a skill that I learned when I was doing a lot of entrelac because, t you know, doing a couple of stitches and then a couple of pearls and a it was very annoying. So I just learned how to pearl left and right. So I wasn't flipping my work all the time. Uh, lazy. I learned a new skill because I'm lazy. I do that all the time. Um, I made a really nice pom-pom using one of those pom-pom tools for a beanie last night, but I but stuffed it up. Oh, no, I didn't tie the yarn tight enough. So now the strands come. Oh, no. I am really bad at pom-poms, and it's that reason. I never do the thingy tight enough. The thingy, you guys know what I'm talking about, the string, the center string, the string that holds it all together. It just comes apart, something fierce. In we go. There you go. That's pretty even, right? That's even enough. That's that's if it's not quite right, it's fine, isn't it? Yes, it's fine. <laughs> she says that she just pulls out more yarn to keep going. There's gonna be yarn bath. Maybe not. I was expecting worse. Okay, all right, let's do this. We've got this. We can do this. She tells herself, hopefully. Um yeah, I'm really bad at pom-poms. I saw this amazing pom-pom that this friend of mine who was a sewer did, and I'm sitting there staring at it like a gog. She had done her pom-pom so that, like, she'd wrapped it a specific way, which I didn't see, but I, I was I only saw, like, the second part of the video where she was cutting the pom-pom open, and when she opened it, it had a love heart in the middle of it. I'm like, how did you do that? That's wizardry. My pom-poms don't even hold together. I buy pom-poms from a pom-pom lady. That Yeah, the faux fur poms. Absolutely. Me too. That's how bad I am. Pom-poms, I buy ones that someone else has made. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, I'm not a good pom-pom maker. But I highly respect anybody who is because that is a mad skill to have. I just don't have it. I probably could practice and I could probably ring my friend and go, okay, honey, walk me through that because I did not understand what wizardry you just did there. Because it was it was so wizardy. I'll see if I can find a link for it. Has anyone else seen that, seen a pom-pom, like a shape within a pom-pom? So this was a, a white pom-pom with a red love heart in the middle of it. But, yeah, so crazy. So what have you guys all got in your cups today? I've just got water and I am regretting my decision, something fierce. Um, small cable ties are perfect for – really, I have lots of small cable ties. But wouldn't it – I suppose it would depend on the thickness of the cable tie, but wouldn't that hold everything sort of – weird I'm gonna have to go and look at how thin my cable ties are because dude I have got a million pom-pom makers I bought all of the shapes from Clover because I wanted to be good at pom-poms <laughs> I just am not and I think it's because of how poorly I tie them because they do they just come apart um are you I look, I don't even I can't even answer that question. It's hard to see. Um, are you going through the last post or under it? I'm kind of going through it ish, sort of. Just I, I, I'm like, right, I need to get three per colour. I'm going wherever. I'm I'm not that person. I'm not the person to watch for this particular thing. If I'm doing a tutorial, I'll sit down, I'll research it, I'll make sure I've got it very clear. This is not that so i'm just going from what the instruction said briefly it's near enough this this blanket's being thrown in a car okay 
I, 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 I don't have huge hopes of its survival. <laughs> Do you know the pom pom man? The pom pom man. The pom pom man. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, Francis said, I had milk. Now empty. I need to put the kettle on and make some tea. Yeah, I think I could use a cup of tea, truth be told. I nearly made I boiled the kettle and then went, you know what? It's too hot. I can't deal. This white's a bit splitty. Am I going through the wrong spot there? Come on, splitty white. Is splitty white anything like Betty White? <laughs> Oh dear, I'm terrible. Um, it looks like you're suffering through it. It's easier under it. I'm, I'll have a look. <gasps> there you go. Sally's found a tutorial for a pom pom with a heart. Maybe I'll yeah, maybe I'll just go through it. That's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Do the first one in the top because that's cool, and then three that one, and three that one. All right. <clears throat> I'm not pulling it back to fix them. Or should I? No, I'm not. I refuse. I'm not pulling it back to fix them, but I will do it that way. I'll go through that one because I can see the hole and then around the different doobies. That gives me three in each colour. There we go. You're a champion. I wasn't going to do that because I was trying to be good. Oh, maybe I do need to pull it back because they sit so oh, stupid. I have to pull it back. My brain won't let me not do it. Like my brain's like, hi, how are you? Um, we we want you to do it this other way. Stacy says it's starting to rain. Really? I do have all the windows closed because the aircon's on. So hopefully that's enough protection for me. I found um Francis says that looks like I already pulled it out, Francis. I already pulled it out because I couldn't cope with it. What have I done there? I don't even know the answer. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Um, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> she says as she quickly moves on before she changes her mind. Um, shush. I, I hear you laughing at me. I feel it. I know. It's fine. It's fine. It's so much easier. Oh, split the yarn. That was mine, my baddie, not anyone else's. Um, I didn't want you to realize it at the end of the row. Thanks, Dolores. I do appreciate you telling me. I really do. And look, it is. It's sitting so much nicer already. It makes total sense. I was just making more work for myself. Now, the instructions do talk about going through stitches, so I was trying to do the right thing, but the not right thing looks better, and this is what I'm doing from now on, all the way around. And it's not, it's not pulling, oops, it's not pulling at anything. It's not, you know, making things the wrong shapes. What have I done there? That white stitch is hinky. Um, when making pom-poms, would it help to use pliers? I mean, it might help to do something. I don't know. I may need just an extra set of hands. I just may not be strong enough for pom-poms. Oops. I've learned that should be there. There we go. Um. Maybe we could do some pom-poms one week. I've got all the clover pom-pom shapes and sizes and stuff. I've got some spare special DK after this project's over because there's still 20 to 30, like other than the six, co six colours, I think, for the border, there's still 20 to 30 grams of each ball left. Oops, not there. So that's, that's a serious number of pom-poms. Or a serious number of pom pom tries. Who knows how many pom poms I'll end up with out of that? Goodness me. 
We could have some spring poms. We could put pom poms on the corners of the blanket. Do you know what we could do? Just to upset Abby, we could make a pile of 11 billion pom poms and stitch them all around the blanket. <laughs> Let's not tell her that because she she may actually want me to do that. No, I don't want to do that. Um, I think the pattern, the tops and I think in the pattern, the top and the bottom are through the stitch, but I think the sides are under the posts. Okay. I know I was looking at the photos of the sides, but that's okay. I'm happy. This is easy. Looks good. Let's do this. Up into that. Burr, burr, burr. But I have to keep working on this because I, in my brain, I need this done before sort of midnight tomorrow night because then I have kept up with the cow. I took a week to do each section and usually the next, the next portion of the cow will come up any time between 7 p.m. and midnight. Um. So as long as I get it done by midnight tomorrow night, preferably by 7 p.m. 7 p.m. would make me feel better, but, you know. Bub always uses a surgeon's knot. Okay. I, I don't know how to do a surgeon's knot, it seems. Um, yeah. Angela is trying to figure out what project she wants to work out work on next i need to stitch together the hexagon granny card again i've made but i need to find a space to lay it out to stitch it okay so i'm assuming you don't have a, a empty dining table that's big enough for that kind of task um but if you want a new project like what kind of um projects like yarn styles crochet knit you know all the things help us to help you um oh i kept thinking you were saying cow and was wondering why it was so big uh no cow my cow is still there it's off to the side but we did get we did get sidetracked so and i have made a mistake on it which i still haven't fixed i've got to fix that i should fix it this weekend that way it's ready as an option for next week. But I now have, see, one of the things, you know how we've got this and you know how, you know, we've got all the different dice, right, for all the different colours. I want to make, during a live stream, a blanket size version of this using some Maker Yarns and the dice to do this but I've realized I didn't buy enough of the main color so what I'll need to do is I'll need to um work on it for a bit I need to choose a main color because I don't want the main color to be white if that makes sense actually the main color will have to be white because it's the only neutrals so that's the plan I'm still tossing up but that's the, that's a goal as well um, and I've got two balls of each of the colours, uh, uh, two balls of the white, so that's 400 grams. So that could get me a goodly way through the project before I need to order in more, and it'll give me an idea of how much more I need to order. So, yeah. Actually, is Kathy in the chat? Kathy. How much worsted purple did you use when you did your bricks and mortar? That would give me a good starting point to know. Because Kathy has just finished Claire's mosaic pattern in this gorgeous purple as the main colour with random colours all in as her second colours. And I can't trust myself to be properly random. So... Um, what have I done here? Oh, that was bad. I did all my stitching through it half a stitch. Fixed. Um, I have a ton of Templar yarn and definitely crochet. Okay. 
So do you want to make a blanket or do you want to make um, a, like, do you have scrappy temply or do you have like four balls of temply? Um, oh, Kathy's, thank you, Kathy. Yes, I'll give you a few minutes. Because I'm, I'm going to be using a worst weight yarn. So um, or maybe the Dirty DK. Then that's the next question, is it? Do I use the Aaron and Ash? No, Aaron and Eve. Or do I use the I'll, – I'll, I'm going to put a poll on the community tab with photos of both because I technically have enough of both to at least start a project. Probably have enough of the Dirty DK to make most of it. The Aaron and Ash, I would definitely need some more, I think. Um, I prefer smaller projects. I have scraps and full balls. So you don't like blankets because blankets, I mean, do you make knee rugs? Like I consider a knee rug a small project. Do you consider a knee rug a small project? This is not a small project. This is a single bed blanket, but a knee rug could be a small project. Because because oh, what I'm getting at, Angela, is you and I could have fun using up. You could use your scraps, and I could use um the like whichever one of these yarns I end up going with. Oops, I see what I did there. I've got to go in there first. Um, and we could have some fun and use the dice rolls because I'm going to dice roll the random colors. I'm going to assign each color. A number and when that color comes up we use that color i i may have also uh found an etsy seller who sells um like they sell a lot of dice packs and they have this thing where you can buy like a, a mixed pack. So it's basically like when they're, when they're checking all the dice, they may, they may do a particular pack in one colour, but one of them doesn't work, so they have to redo an entire like a pile again. And so they have all these leftovers of ones that are still perfectly fine, but they don't have um, the a rest of a kit to go with. So um, And they were, they were really inexpensive, so I grabbed... A couple of those of the random sets to see if I could find something I like. Um, no, I've done it wrong again. I forget to go into the top before I do the two sides of the double crochets into the top. Um, yeah, maybe kind of like a mini craft along. I mean, you work at your own pace. Don't wait for me. Jeeps, you'll be there 20. 27 years 18 skeins oh what size blanket was that kathy maybe maybe i can't maybe i can only do a throw rug for the couch i mean i don't mind a throw rugs some of our throw rugs on the couch are due to get moved out or was it 18 skeins in total Because if I just need to contact Kate and put in another order for, you know, a pile of colours, I'll be all right. 11 billion years. That's exactly right, Sally. You'll be waiting 11 billion years to finish a project if you wait for me. You guys can all speed ahead and do it at your own pace. Don't wait for me. Come on, little things. I would like to get to the end of at least one. Well, I suppose we are at least one side down. Where, but I want to get to the end of this one of these long sides. Oh, it's not too bad. We can do it. We have the power. And once I get through this row, it'll be faster. John Brown, John O'Brien. I can't even speak, John. It's your fault. John O'Brien in the chat. Welcome. Vampire is off to make foods. Awesome, Vampire. Have an awesome day and we'll catch you next time. And yeah. 
John made it. He's made it. John having a life outside of YouTube fam, heaven forbid. Um, Angela says, I've tried making blankets in the past, but I get bored when the project gets too big. So why don't we aim for you to make a three foot by three foot blanket that's just big enough for you to throw over your lap on the couch and it's not a big thing and it can use up all your scraps. Don't aim for a full-size blanket. Don't aim for a single bed. Don't aim for a queen size. God, don't do a queen size. Um, and go from there. What do, you, what do you say to that? Do you feel pressured? I don't want you to feel pressured. Um, oh, not really a life. I just had to watch Baby Yoda. I mean, Baby Yoda's cute. Uh, I tried doing a granny square blanket for my daughter, but she kept stealing the squares to play with, so I gave up. Yeah, look, I'm thinking maybe not a granny square blanket, like maybe something that is just stripes or rows. Like seriously, I would definitely look at doing Claire's uh, mosaic. It's really basic. You can sit there and watch TV while you work on it. Um, it doesn't require a huge bit of braining power. Oh, yes, everybody. Well, I was, I'm going to be putting in a link into the community tab because Katie is going to be having her very first live stream on Monday. So anyone who is free, um, Monday 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time um, or Sunday night for those of you in the U.S., um, then jump over to Katie's channel and check it out. See what she gets up to over there. Um, have an awesome day, Kate. Hope it has lots of funness, lots of squishings of yarns. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Yeah. Is that what I said? Did, did I say nine? It's nine for me. That's all. Um, yeah, 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight time, Savings Time. Um, I chained 10 for my Molly and had to... Oh, she's learning how to crochet. That is awesome. 1952 meters of the purple. Wow, that is specific. Hang on. I got a pen and paper. Can someone DM that to me, please? 1952 of the purple so that I can work out how much I'm going to need. And was that a single bed size, Kathy? I really appreciate you doing that math for me. She forgets to chain and turn and she's been making triangles. Oh, triangles can be fun too. They can be turned into stuff. So I will probably need a lot more of that. Let me just, oh, let me have a look here. So that's 333. My phone's over there. Hang on. I've got to use, I've got to use the computer because the phone's over near the window. Plus, okay, 1952 divided into 333. But I need six balls and I've only got two. So I'm going to have to order another four balls of the white if I use the dirty DK. And if I use, uh, I'm probably going to use the dirty DK because the other one's going to, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to sit down and do the mathing. I'm going to have to do some maths, me and maths, not friends, but I will work it out because I want to do this and I think it'll be so much fun. And I actually think the brightness of the colours of the Dirty DK will work better. Or the six more. <laughs> you, you reckon? I'll probably, I'm probably going to have to order like second balls of all the colours and six more and, you know, like... <laughs> Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll have to order six more of the white in the Dirty DK. I think, well, I'll do math. I'll work it out. I Thank you, Leanne. I appreciate that. Um, and, and we'll go from there because I'm torn. Like, did us, oh, she's going to find the dimensions. Sorry about that. I appreciate that. Was it bigger than a knee rug? Like, that's basically what I'm trying to get at is did you make a knee rug or did you go bigger? Because it looks really big in the photos. 
and I don't want to do another single bed. At least I don't think I do. I probably do. I like having ones for the beds. Abby's been stealing them and actually using them, which shocks me. And we have got winter coming. So we actually like having blankets on in winter. I know. That's bizarre too, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, I'll have to do some mathings and work out some stuffs. But I can always get started while we wait for the rest because I definitely have enough to get started. And then we can have our fun mathing games. And my new dice should arrive by next week as well. Um, it's big. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, I think I don't I don't think I want to make it that big. Um so yeah, but I'll put in a um that's all right. Um I'll also add in like Sa Sally's popped in a link to Katie's YouTube channel. Um but I'll also um, I'll also be putting in um, a link in the community tab to the to the actual live stream direct to the live stream, so you can go in and bookmark it. Um, if I do four or five rows a day, I should finish my mosaic blanket by summer. Yeah, I sat down and worked out like uh, you know when I was working on the queen, it's like okay, if I'm doing three rows a week. <laughs> How long will it take until I actually finish it? And the thought was horrifying. So luckily towards the end, I was getting really excited by being nearly at the end and was really powering through it and getting like 10 rows a week done. So, yeah, because the three rows a week, I think, I think when I worked it out, we'd just gotten to like one or two colours past all the yellow. And I think I worked it out that if I just did three rows a week, it would be another six months. Um, no, it would be another 12 months from, from then. And I'm like, I cannot do that. And I was just like, well, I can only commit to this much. So I kept doing three rows a week for a bit longer and then we sped up and sped up and sped up. So that was cool. We're nearly at the end of this one. Yay. So much excitement. Hang on, did I do the one, two? I did. I look at that. I actually did the thing. I did the thing I was supposed to do, thinking I didn't. It's all good. It's all good. And then we go into. All right. Is there, a, is there a, I'm just checking to see if there's any tips or tricks to get into the bottom. Okay, so. Just into the loops. Okay. Let me in that. I think I wove in stitches too tight in that section. Grr. Okay. Now I don't have to try and fit in too. I got it. I got it, I think. Um, <laughs> in my opinion, I didn't like the bottom. I agree with you. I, I also agree with you, but I'm doing it now. It's happening. It's that whole single loop thing. And, I you know, quite often I'll actually work it so I've got two loops at the bottom, but I didn't for this. I was just following the instructions. Um, okay, so it's a single bed. That's a wide single bed, Kathy. I'm just looking at your measurements. So it's 2 metres by 1.5 metres. So that's that's actually that's actually wider than a single bed. Hang on, let me Google single bed width. Uh, single bed. Yeah. Okay. So a standard single bed in Australia. I'm just double checking. Yes, in Australia, is 92 centimeters by 188 centimeters. And you went, where is it? I lost it. 
148 by 199. So you are more like a, that's more like a double bed. That's a double bed. So 138 to 188 is a double bed in Australia. Okay, so that's way, way, way bigger than what I want to do. So that's cool. So as long as I have less yarn than that, I'm cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, because I don't want to do a double bed. Excellent. Thank you. So, yeah. I may only need like one or two more balls. I don't know. We'll see. Um, that's exciting. I'm excited by this prospect. Because whether we use it for a couch blanket or whether we use it for um, Abby's bed, Sometimes, well, lots of times we tweak patterns to our liking or using an outdated way of joining or starting a row. Yeah, I like there's a um, there's a particular cast on method for crochet where you when you're when you start like you do use standard chains and then when you go into work into those chains rather than working through any of the top loops, you actually work through the back bump. And it leaves the bottom loops so that it actually mirrors the top of a project. It looks awesome. And I do try to do that as much as possible. I just didn't even think of it for this, honestly, because I, I didn't realize it had a border at the start. It wasn't until I was halfway through that I realized it had a border. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it does have a good effect. I agree with you. Sorry, this is a bit slow going just because I'm trying to make sure I don't accidentally split this stitch. Yeah, John says he likes the back bump as well. Yep. I think it works really well. There's a particular name for it. I don't know what the name of the stitch is, but I just prefer working through that loop rather than through either of the top loops on chains usually. Um, but I just didn't for this, and I am really regretting that decision. If you have not started this project yet, I would look up that way to work into your chains. It's not exciting, and it's not fun, and it's certainly not fast, but it gives you a much easier edge to work into. It'll save you time down the road. Far out is not always a bad thing. No, I don't think far out being far out is a bad thing at all. I like that we're all a little bit different. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Just shake the entire table where my lungs stop enjoying air. What am I going to make for lunch today? See, since Vanfear left, my stomach's like, yeah, what are we making for lunch? Thanks, Vanfear. Appreciate you. Is it, is it called the camel stitch? I've never heard it called the camel stitch before. Um, yeah, it does. It gives a really nice edge, doesn't it, Megan? But, yes, I will have to remember that even on blankets I need to do that stitch because you may decide to do a border and then you don't have to deal with this nightmare. I thought the sides were going to be the worst. This is the worst. But it's only for this round. It's kind of like when we work into the um, slip stitches um, to make the mosaic enclosed borders. That's always a horrible task, or at least for me. Oh, everyone's calling it a camel bump. Okay. I had no idea it was called that. Vampy sends her apologies. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Hartzog. I appreciate that. Um, th so, yeah, I've always called it the back bump or the third loop. Yeah. Um, I'm very intrigued with the different placement of stitches. The waistcoat stitch was a big pain in the butt. 
but the end result was lovely. Now I've found another sti dub stitch, double single crochet. Looks awesome. Awesome. The back bump for Molly as well. I just had a seedy bread sandwich, cut up chicken, lettuce, mayo, cracked pepper. It was nice. So if it makes you drool. Nope. Won't make me drool. So, nah. <laughs> it was the seedy bread that put me off. I can't eat seedy bread. It hurts my teeth. They get all like, wah. And then it hurts my intestines because they're all like, wah. Seeds. Mm. But I love the taste of seeds. My tummy doesn't like the seeds. My teeth don't like the seeds. Grr. Nearly at the end. Why have I got a stitch marker there? That's a bizarre spot for a stitch marker. I'll have you. Thank you. Back in the little pouch. There you go. Yoink. Um, I have some nice Merce Valley cheese. So I'll have that and some ham on a sandwich. Well, I've got... Oh, I might have leftover taco mints. Unless ah oh, Abby, unless Abby took it, which she may have done, because she made herself wraps and stuff for lunch today. I'll have to check, but I could have leftover taco mints, and then I've got choices. Because I need to go grocery shopping, so my fridge is a little bit like I've got tons of fresh fruit and veg, but I don't have much in the way of lunch stuff. I could have a salad, boring. No protein, dull. I could go grocery shopping, but that's never a smart decision when you're hungry. I am, I am, I am like the poster girl for why you shouldn't grocery shop when you're hungry, because like to the point where I'll come home with the shopping. Tim will get home that night, and he'll be standing in the cupboard laughing, and I'll be like, "What?" And he goes, and he'll go. You were hungry when you did the grocery shopping, what, weren't you? And I'm like, why? How can you tell? And he goes, you buy so many snacks when you're hungry. Otherwise, you don't buy any snacks. Because, like, when I'm not hungry, I'm like, okay, let's be good. Let's buy the good things. Let's not buy anything naughty. But when I'm hungry, it's like, we'll just get this packet of snacks. And then I forget those snacks are in the trolley and buy more snacks and different snacks and, like, crunchy things. And, yeah, it's, it's – I'm the poster girl, but not shopping while you're hungry. Um, but I said to hubby yesterday, for some reason, I've been craving chicken two minute noodles. It's very odd. I've got, to, I've got two minute chicken, two minute noodles in the cupboard. I have homemade baked beans and chipolatas. I've never had homemade baked beans. I think they would be amazing. Um, oh, you're going to mushrooms. I've just thought of mushrooms, your spinach and egg dish. I don't have any spinach. I have eggs. I think I have mushrooms. I've got cherry tomatoes, but I, I had bread for breakfast, so I can't have bread for lunch. So that rules that out. <laughs> if I go... <laughs> That's me. If I go shopping when I'm hungry, I usually come home the proud new owner of aisle four. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Is that the biscuits aisle? It's the biscuits aisle at my Woolies, aisle four. So many biscuits. I love biscuits. I don't buy biscuits because I love biscuits. If there's biscuits in the house, I eat them. Um, uh, when we shop at the warehouse store, we get the hot dog and drink combos because they're only $1.50 for a hot dog and beverage and then we don't shop hungry. That's a great idea for $1.52. Um, this is one reason why I do my shopping online the night before and just go and pick it up. I think if I did that, my daughter would lose her mind at me because she likes it when I come into the store when she's working and go through her checkout because then the bags are packed right, apparently. And she doesn't get to do the online pickups yet because you've got, got to do special training. And they're always too busy to actually train anyone new, apparently. So John had a giant bowl of popcorn for dinner. So, John, <clears throat> how do you – my voice is just, like, raspy. <clears throat> how 
How do you make your popcorn, John, is my big question. Because I see those metal tin things in the US movies that is put on, on the cookers and then they pop and they go bigger and bigger. But we don't have those here and they look fun. They look exciting and I would like to try that. Um, I did. I just hydrated. My IGA has aisle four is confectionery. So I'm trying to think, like, is confectionery aisle four at Woolies, at my local Woolies? I'm going to have to check. The hot air popper. See, I've got a hot air popper that I just put in little little kernels into and the heat just pops it. But I can never do the butter properly on it. So I just don't have butter on it. Um, my lazy lunch today is rice cakes with cheese and our homegrown tomatoes. That actually sounds amazing. I've got a fresh packet of rice cakes. Uh, I I have corn thins, but same sort of deal. Um, corn thins in the cupboard. I could do corn thins with stuff, stuff on it, stuff on the corn things. Oh, Jiffy Pop, the tinfoil things are fun. They look fun. They look so fun. See, Francis says do the butter in the microwave, but then you have to, like, let it cool down or something because whenever I pour the butter over, it makes the popcorn all lame and angry. Jennifer says my kids like maple syrup on popcorn. Ah. Oh. My mum used to make a sweet popcorn. She'd use icing sugar instead of salt, and she used to love that, but I, I don't like that. I, I, in my brain, popcorn needs to be savoury, except if you're making caramel corn and it's, like, literally in a bowl or, or like in a chunk. Um, I pour some butter from a measuring cup, shuffle the popcorn, pour some more butter and sprinkle the Caesar. Okay. Icing sugar in the popcorn. You have to use the, you have to drizzle the butter. Okay. Maybe I am. I'm just like, I'm, I could be doing that. I mean, I don't even know. I don't know the answer to that question. But I have an air popcorn popper. I have popcorn. I have butter. I might make some popcorn for afternoon tea and have have a trial with the little bit and, and zhuzh and little bit and zhuzh and then add the salt. I'm just trying to think if my butter's salted or not because if it's salted, I probably won't add salt because I'm boring like that. Game Widow says the secret to butter popcorn without it going soggy is to use ghee. Well, I have no ghee. I have butter. And I'm not going to be clarifying the butter to make ghee. Honest. I don't want it that bad. I'd rather eat soggy popcorn. <laughs> and, and in saying that, I if, if I accidentally make my popcorn soggy, I still eat it. I'm like, damn it, and just eat it anyway. We use lemon myrtle and salt cooked in the butter. Ah, I never thought of putting the salt in the butter. Oh, come on, little thing. Little thing in the way. Get in the pouch. Get in the pouch. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I, I probably can't mail you a Jiffy Pop. Probably some import fruit. Yeah, possibly. I don't know. I mean, it'd be all sealed up, right? Like normally it's a problem if it's just unsealed food because I can I can send you Tim Tams. Um, so surely you must be able to send me something. Like, I don't know. In the herb section, I purchased Mexican Shake, next level popcorn. Um, I would just buy the Cobb's popcorn already slightly sweet and salt. Yeah, look. When Abby was at school, we'd buy the little bags of popcorn for her to have for school and we Tim and I to eat it as well. Cause we it's just nice. But there's nothing quite like fresh popped popcorn. Especially if you can get that butter thing going. So a friend of mine. What she was a carny, she's not now, I don't think. Um, and her popcorn machine, like the big popcorn, not quite as big as a cinema one, but pretty big. All the stuff goes into the oil as such, where that where you put you put all the oil and everything in, and when it pops, it sort of disperses it, if that makes sense. 
hot dog from 12. <laughs> uh, for spicy popcorn, use butter and the Portuguese chicken seasoning. I've got lots of different seasonings. I could try something. Um, Dolores is doing a happy dance. She has just finished the first row of her board of this border, Dolores. Oh my gosh! Come on, let's do, let's do let's do some confetti. There we go. Come on, play, play. Oh, it's a, I have to press that button. Yay, confetti! Woohoo! Go for it. You've got this. Because I reckon the first round is the hardest and then the others are just single crochets on top of the single crochets. Yeah, Sally, I'm the same. I actually don't eat popcorn that often. I used to eat it a lot more often, but it was part of a diet I was on and we didn't add butter to it or salt. You just ate the dry pop popcorn. It was a, like a crunchy treat. Um, what about the clip getting around, giant wok full of hot oil? They place a bunch of green grapes in. Of corn, bam. Uh, yeah, non-believer. Um, I'm a, I, I, I would believe the popcorn would pop. I just don't believe it would be green. Also, I think that the um, grapes would actually make the oil spatter everywhere. Oh, yeah, that's your lunch order. <laughs> Hang on a second. I want to see what your lunch order was. I missed it. It's gone. Um, popcorn has a tendency to lead to a dental appointment. Yeah. I'm, look, I'm, I'm pretty fussy. Like, I'm that person that will, if the popcorn thing's not popped properly, I don't, I don't try and eat it. And, I, yeah, the air fryer is normally, like the air fryer, the air popper thing's normally pretty good at not letting it out of the poppy thing until it's a certain weight. So it has to have fully popped its kernel. Where are we at? I'm nearly on down, down three sides of my blanket. This is this is the corner of the bottom. This is this is the last few stitches just here. Um, let me move that. And this is why you knew I was doing the wrong thing because you're doing exactly this now. Awesome. I love it when I'm coming in just behind someone and they can help me. Um, why are you like that? Oh, because I'm at the corner already. That is the corner. Oh, you're a donkey. I'm at the corner. I turned the corner. I actually had a lot less to do than I thought I did. So we're onto the last side, but it's a long side. Um, leftover spag bowl for Megan. I was a hot dog from 12 boar. Tasty and delicious. Oh, I understand now. Okay. I understand now. Um, yeah, if I, oh, yes, I wouldn't have remembered otherwise. I'm just hoping I've got enough of this yarn. Uh, I should do. I nearly changed some of the colours that I was doing the border in, right, because this this purple, this prima violet, what is it, parma violet, whatever it's called, not a fan, don't like it. But when I saw how the border looked all done, I was like, oh, man, okay. All right. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is the side that I weave the ends in on. And I may not have allowed for the fact that I need to work into these stitches. Like a goober. Great goober Chantel strikes again. Yeah, it does. It's this funny kind of like grey, purpley colour. 
So, yeah. But I, I've got to fix that up. That's a, that's a bodge job. That goes there. And that goes there. And there. Oh, that's better. Okay. Now I'm really feeling hungry. I know. Like, this is what happens, right? We get to this certain point because it's leading right up to my lunchtime. And, and then we're just like, you know what? Food. And what will happen now is I'll be like, okay, stream's over. See you later. And I'll just drop what I'm working on, go into the kitchen and make food. And then I'll be like hours before I'm like, oh, wait, I was in the middle of something. I want to finish that. Because I get sidetracked. Anyway, we have made it to the third side of our border. Yay. I'm very excited. <laughs> Can you tell? Can you tell I'm very excited? Okay, so Caffeinated Crafters is on tonight at the Coffee Club at the Hyperdome. So if you are localish enough, come and hang out. I'll be bringing a selection of the, the new yarns from Maker to come and pat and check out. Um, and I will see you all next week here. Um, and I'll show you the finished blanket. That's my goal, to show you guys no ends. Finished blanket next week. That's the plan. Cross your fingers for me that I can do this. Like, I really want to do it by Friday. So keep an eye out in the fun zone. I will post photos Friday or Saturday. And I'll be honest, like, if I didn't make it, I'll show you where I'm up to. So, you know, have fun and work on your projects. And don't be afraid to try something new. And I will see you all next time. Bye now. Mm -hmm.